So today we're going to be doing guess and check, problem solving strategy guess and check. And um, for each of the problems we'll be making charts. So it says use the guess and check strategy. The drama club sold 120 tickets to the, stu the school play. Adults tickets cost $8 each, children's tickets cost $5 each. The total earned from ticket sales was $840. How many tickets of each type were sold? So we're trying to find out how many adults tickets were sold and how many children's tickets were sold. Um, $8 and $5 and our total being $840. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a chart over here in your margin on your notable or you could even make it over here where, wherever you have the most amount of room. So your chart should look something like that. Um, of course, mine's perfectly straight because I have this lovely tool, but yours doesn't have to be perfectly straight. In this first column, we're going to put um, $8, and that $8 is going to represent adult tickets. So we're going to put adult $8. So this column here is going to re represent $5. And those, of course, will be the children's tickets, so child. And your total, we want it to be $840 for our total. Now, between adult tickets and children's tickets, we know we have to have 120. So we need to make sure whatever our total is, that 120 tickets are being sold. And it should be a combination of adult and child tickets. So, let's try some things. It says, you know the cost of each adult ticket and each child ticket. You know the cost they sold is, or the total tickets they sold is 120. And we just put that right there. You need to know how many adults tickets and how many children's tickets were sold. So they tell us basically, first let's guess 70 adults and 50 children. So, 70 adults tickets times $8.00. And how many children's tickets? 50 children's tickets. And um, they're at $5 a piece. Does that equal 840? Well, we know 70 times 8 is going to be equal to... Oh, let me get my marker. Oh, jeez. Okay, we know 70 times 8 is going to be equal to 560. We're going to add to that 50 times 5, which is 250. And that together equals 810. So down here it says your first guess is 70 times 8 plus 50 times 5. That equals 8, 10, 810 dollars. And that guess is too low. Low, low, low. So we need to bump one of these up. Probably going to bump up the adult ticket since it costs more. So now what do I, they want us to guess? They want us to guess that uh, we're going to get 90 adult tickets and 30 children's tickets. So 90 times 8. So again, we want to write that in our chart. 90 adults tickets times $8 and 30 children's tickets times $5. Does that equal 840? And remember, the first thing we want to check is does 30 plus 90 equal 120? Because we know that's the total tickets we need. And yes, it does. So 90 times 8 is 720. And 30 times 5 is 150. Does that equal 840? Well, no. That equals 870. So we're going to put that up here, 870. This guess is too low or too high? Well, we know we need 840s, 870s more than 840, so it's too high. So now they're going to try guess number three. We're going to try 80 adult tickets and 40 children's tickets. So um, let's change the color of this. We'll change you to green. So 80 adult tickets, so that'll be 80 times 8. And how many children's tickets? 40 times 5. Does 80 plus 40 equal 120? Yes, it does. Okay. 80 times 8 is 640. Now, 40 times 5 is 200. Does 640 plus 200 equal 840? Well, it sure does. And we've found our magic numbers. 
Now, they've put our answer in kind of a sentence form. It says 80 adults tickets cost 640, and we know that here, 80 adults tickets, 640. 40 children's tickets cost 200. 40 children's tickets cost 200. Since 640 plus 200 equals 840, and 80 plus 40 equals 120, the guess is correct. So, if we go back up to our original question, it says how many tickets of each type were sold? Right here it says how many tickets of each type were sold? Well, we know that 80 adults tickets were sold and 40 children's tickets were sold. So 80 adult, 40 children is our answer. Okay, so your turn. Museum. There were 65 people that went on a field trip at a history museum. Adults tickets cost seven, children's tickets cost four. The total paid for the group was 290. How many tickets of each did they buy? So you're going to set this up exactly the same as we just did on the last one. Give me a chart. Give me a few guesses. Maybe you'll get it on your first guess. Who knows? And then we want to know how many of each type of ticket did they buy of each type. Okay, so pause and try it on your own, then check your answer. Okay, so down here I made my chart with adult tickets at $7 and children's tickets at $4 and my total at $290. And remember I needed to make sure that my adult tickets plus my children's tickets are 65 people because I knew there were 65 people that went on the field trip. So I just tried some things, 30 adult tickets, 35 children's. Remember 30 plus 35 must equal 65. Um, because that's how many people went and I got three hundred and fifty dollars which is too high so I went down to twenty adults tickets which means I got forty five children's tickets it was still too high so ten adults tickets and fifty five children's tickets ended up being just the right amount because ten times seven is seventy and fifty five times four is two hundred and twenty seventy times or 70 plus 220 is 290 and that is exactly the amount of money that we spent going to this museum so I know I'm right so I put my um, answer in kind of a sentence form I put 10 adults tickets and 55 student tickets this is what you should have you should have all of this work if not more um, so just make sure you know how to use these charts because when we start doing guess and check, you're going to have to make a chart for every single problem. If you don't get it, please watch the video again. And if you still don't get it, please ask one of us.